it's second nature for creators out there to keep their creative assets organized, but it may be even more important to business owners and marketing managers, especially if you're outsourcing design. I'm Simon from Visualize. We create memorable design that brings people and brands together. So if you're a business owner or marketing manager, why is it important to keep your creative assets organized? Well, it's pretty simple, really. If you don't and you haven't got a firm hold of your creative output, you could start to see brand creep, which can ultimately lead to you looking like a different company, confusing your market and losing business because of it. If you've not been as organized as you could have been, what's next? Well, to start, you need to identify if your designed assets are starting to lose consistency. And there's a really easy and fun way that won't cost you a single penny. I call it the table test, and all you need is a selection of your marketing material from the past six to 12 months and the largest table you can get your hands on. Something similar to a boardroom table will be absolutely perfect. Take a pile of your marketing material and throw it down the table. Hopefully it'll all slide about and you'll be able to easily see if and where there are any inconsistencies. The most obvious to look for are color variations, changes in fonts, image styles, and heaven forbid variations in your logo. Now you've got a benchmark, you'll be able to see what's going wrong and where. So what can you do to avoid this in the future? First thing to check is that you've got an up-to-date and valid brand guideline document. This should be your creative Bible and a constant reference point to make sure everything's on brand. Whenever you're sharing or outsourcing anything that relates to your marketing and design, this should accompany that email, especially if it's to a new supplier. If you haven't got one, get one created, detailing at a very basic level your logo use, fonts and color palettes. Next is to make sure you've got all your top level brand assets filed and clearly labeled. You should have logo variations exported for screen and print in all their variations, and this includes their lockups. A lockup is the final form of a logo with all of its elements locked in their relative and correct positions and helps maintain consistency in all mediums. The principle behind this is that the lockup should not be taken apart or altered in any way, allowing it to be consistent at all times. It's also really beneficial to organize other items that might be used across your visual identity. Create folders for graphical themes, icon sets and images labeled accurately with what they are and what they're for. Again, this all helps from an internal and outsourced perspective and gives a library of assets for people to work from. The last is artwork files. Again, these should be ordered logically to so keep event graphics, um, advertising and social media sets together and labeled correctly. When a project has been finalized, delete or move iterations to another folder to avoid confusion and ask your designer to package the artwork so you have everything neatly together. Even online design solutions like Canva have got it covered these days. If you're encouraging collaborative working on projects, it's even more important to have these nailed down and organized. So if you follow these tips, you'll have organized assets, allowing you to manage consistency and a natural flow across your business's design and creative.